Hey, so this is a video where I'm going to talk about the technical specifications of uh, Lyshen and EVE 280 amp uh, lithium iron phosphate battery cells. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the beginning, uh, what, what's very similar between these two cells. So the range in terms of charging from both these cells is the same. You're going to want to charge from uh, absolute minimum, uh, absolute lowest of 2.5 volts up to 3.65 volts. That's the absolute bottom to the absolute top of the voltage range for both of these cells. Okay. Um, otherwise, you should never ever um, charge them below freezing, so 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want to ever charge them. Uh, you can discharge them up to negative 20 degrees uh, Celsius, but um, the Lyshen, at least, they said you, and this is the Lyshen, they said you shouldn't be uh, discharging it very much below that. So you don't really want to discharge it below freezing too much either. Um, otherwise, they said their, life their lifespans are very similar. So. Uh, about a thousand cycles, so discharging and then recharging a thousand times, you'd still expect to have 90% capacity with both of them and around 80% capacity after 3,500 cycles. So if you cycle these 3,500 times, which is about 10 years if you cycle them once a day, um, you'd still expect to be 80% capacity. Both of them also expect them to be under pressure. That means tied down or weighed or somehow pressurized, putting pressure on the sides of this. There's all sorts of stuff online about how you can uh, pressurize these, but it, it does remain a challenge because they're pretty big and you don't want to do anything that's going to scratch off this, this, this blue wrapping or anything like that. But they do expect you to have them um, pressurized or, or wrapped or somehow, uh, you know, stop them from expanding. But the Lyshen at least, men no, sorry, the Eve at least mentions that uh, if you don't pressurize them, you can expect around 2,500 cycles rather than 3,500 cycles. Um, that's the minimum. Uh, so they think pressurizing can increase their lifespan by about a third. But again, their lifespan's already so long, it's not clear that, you, you know, are you really going to be using this in, in seven or eight years when they're saying the lifestyle might, might be worse? I don't know. So anyway, those are the exact similarities. Fundamentally, they're really, really similar cells, but let's talk about some of the differences that I found on the data sheets, okay? So let's first talk about the EVE cell. So this is the EVE cell. EVE, uh, their standard charge and discharge was um, half C. So that this is a 280 amp hour cell. So you'd expect the charge and discharge at around 140 amps, okay? Um, and that they said the max charge and discharge was 1C, so 280 amps, which is a ton of current. So I don't anticipate anyone having that problem where they're just charging or charging with too much. But um, yeah, max is 1, 1C. Um, the weight is um, 500 and 5,220 grams, give or take uh, 20 grams. Um, Eve also recommends that you um, keep these charged between 10 and 90%. I think that's really good advice and will also apply to the Lyshen. But Eve explicitly says that. Try to keep them between a state of charge that's 10% um, to 90%. Um, Otherwise, there's not that much else, and these are six uh, M6 cells, and the depth is only about six millimeters as well, according to the EVE uh, data sheet. So let's talk about what the Lyshen says about theirs. So Lyshen was a little bit different. Lyshen actually lists these cells as 272 amp hours. Now, everything I've been reading on the internet and people have tested these, I haven't tested this particular cell yet, but everyone's been saying they tend to get uh, 280 plus uh, when the cells are brand new. Uh, so you can probably expect very similar capacities, but technically this is around 3% more capacity, but I think they're probably about the same. Um, what else? So uh, they actually list um, uh, 2C, so uh, 280 times 2, so 560 amps for the max charge and discharge, but only for up to 60 seconds. So their license explicitly listing this as a possible 2C charge and discharge. I wouldn't want to do that at all, and definitely not more for 60 seconds, but Lyshen's saying it's okay to take up the 2C out of this, which is a crazy amount of amperage. Uh, but again, only for 60 seconds. Otherwise, um, they expect you uh, 1C is the standard max, okay, for charge and discharge, okay? Um, as I said, the cycles are exactly the same for these two. This is a slightly higher weight. It's a 5,302 versus 5,220. But this is give or take 100 grams. This is give or take 200 grams. Again, who cares? Not a big deal. Um, another interesting thing that I saw about the uh, Lyshen was they said not to, tr not to leave it on its side. They want you to leave it upright um, when you're charging or discharging or using it. This is somewhat surprising. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use Lyshen and Eve cells on their side like this when they're using them. Um, I've never seen, and nor would I recommend anyone doing something like this, but certainly something like this is very common uh, to stack them, for example, on your wall. Um, but that's not what 
lichen is recommending you're doing. They're saying to keep them upright. Um, otherwise, to be honest, these cells are really similar if you're going to be using them for like a solar installation. If you're going to keep them between 10 and 90 or better yet, 20 and 80, you're going to want to keep them above freezing. You're going to want to keep them below uh, 35 degrees Fahrenheit, definitely probably below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. If you can, you want to put them under pressure, although I don't think that's absolutely critical, particularly if you're using solar and you're not going to hit those tops or bottoms. You're much less likely to have expansion and it's much, like, much less likely to wear out. So if you're going to use these cells between the 20 and 80 percent, which is what I'd recommend, um, you're going to get a lot of life out of them no matter what. And they're going to behave really similarly, especially if you're using them for solar and your house. You're, you're really unlikely if you've done if you have a decent system to pull more than one C out of this. For example, if I have these in 48, 48 volts, one C is about if, if I'm if I have a 48 volt battery. So 16 of these lined up. If I'm running this through, you know, an inverter that's taking them to 120 volts, I'm using like, you know, 2.5 amps to get one amp of 120 volts, right? Because I have to take 48 and I have to multiply it by almost 2.5 to get to 120. So, but even then 2.5 out of 100, you know, out of 280 amps, I can still pull almost 100 amps from this. So if I had a 48 volt battery and you hooked it, you could almost pull 100 amps out of it uh, in terms of, in terms of getting it to alternating current at 120 degrees, 120, um, uh, 120 volt AC electric AC power. So basically, long story short is, unless you're going to use more than 100 amps from a 48 volt battery, or I guess 50 amps from a 24 volt battery, you're not in any danger of exceeding the maximum charge and discharge limits on these batteries. So you're going to be using them at healthy charge and discharge rates. And if you're not charging them all the way up or discharging them all the way down, you're not going to be beating up the battery anyway. So basically keep the batteries in good temperature, don't overcharge, don't overcharge them, don't over discharge them, and don't pull out, pull out or put current in at too high a rate, and they're probably gonna behave almost identically. So yeah, basically the data sheet's saying these guys have slightly different recommendations, but they're pretty much identical. Uh, Eve is, I think, slightly more conservative in what they're saying. They're saying only charge at half, a half C or discharge at half C. They're saying one is fine, up to two for 60 seconds is fine. Um, otherwise, the temperature guidance is totally identical. So it's really hard to find noticeable differences between these two. Just like the fact that the terminals are the only thing that separate them. This is Lishan, this is Eve. Same thing with the data sheets. You can't, basically can't separate them and the things that do separate them are mostly on the surface level. Fundamentally, they're behaving really similarly. Um, yeah, so I hope this helped people. Again, I have another video where I compare the physical uh, aspects of them, but, I, but as you can see here, they're pretty much identical. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please like or subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me, and thank you very much for watching.